Welcome to WNBA Basketball on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Seattle Storm going up against the Dallas Wings. In the booth with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you along for the ride. And these are two teams that move the ball extremely well, Tim. Well, this is a matchup for the purest, Blake. I mean, if there's one thing that sets the WNBA apart from other leagues, it's just the tremendous ball movement and passing. We've got the cream of the crop here, and it is not just the passing. Expect incredible movement off the ball on both sides. Now here's Agumba Wale. Out to Gray. Launches it. Good on the three-point shot. Oh, we've seen Gray make huge strides shooting wide, becoming more than solid from beyond the arc. Pass to Charles. Screen by Charles. And here's Stewart to the inside. Charles banked in off the glass. That's a great play on the glass, and for her, it's what really we expect from her. All her second-chance points do not come by accident. Now here's Mabry. Now here is McCowan. Guarded by Charles. Back to Zumbawale. Yep, that one goes. Well, the best scorers oftentimes have an inside and outside game, and Agumawale flashes signs of both. Here's Stewart. Duchess sets a screen. Boots over Savali, and it's Stewart missing. You just assume she's going to knock those down when she's as open as she was there. And here's Mabry. There's a screen by McCowan. Outside, a good Mowale. Off target from outside. She may have been surprised to find herself so open. I mean, maybe that's why she missed. Mabry, guarded by Bird. Back to Mabry. Gray outside. Screen by McCowan. Alicia Gray, and that's good. Well, Mabry has a pretty sharp passing game. She won't let an open shot go to waste. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. The 2020 season was just so different. The entire season was played in Bradenton, Florida, and I think that makes Seattle's championship in the Wubble that much more impressive. So reliable, guys. Her offense, it doesn't come and go. It's always there. Pass to McCowan. Mabry. Outside, Agumawale. The three. And again, it's the wings from deep. And that 2020 championship by the Storm, arguably the most challenging title in WNBA history. Well, you tip your hat to, to Bird, Stewart, Lloyd, the rest of that 2020 Storm team. The physical and mental challenges they overcome, we've never seen it. We may never see it again. The second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. Arjun Bawale. Defended by Ball Queen. Let's the floater go. Goes back up. But Cowan lays it in. So far, so good for them at the offensive end in the early going. Their field goal percentage is terrific. Exactly the start they were hoping for. Now here's Duchess. Pass to Charles. Over McCowan. And it's Charles missing. Dallas in the lead. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. Agunbawale with it. She has five. Avery. Rebound by Brianna Stewart. Seattle with the ball. Now here's Charles. Charles the screen. Bird outside. Five to shoot. From the baseline. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Now Mabry. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. And there's a whistle. It's going to be on Stewart. That's her first foul. First team foul.
Dana Mabry on the wing. Duchess defending. Outside of Gumawale. Kept alive. Here's Sabali. Makes it off the glass. I love the effort and energy Sabali brings to the boards. Great second chance effort there. And they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Now here's Bird. And again, it's the storm missing. You know, it's not been the best quarter for her as far as uh, scoring. We'll see if she can get back on track. Asko Gumbawale. Outside Mabry. The three is up. And the ball out of play. The storm will have it. Storm ball. Substitution in the court. Seattle trailing here. Now here's Duchess. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Here's Talbot, covered by Thornton. To the wing on the left. Clock at six. Here's Charles. She makes that one drop. Only her second in five goes. Only one player in the history of the WNBA has made more two-point buckets than Tina Charles. Making hoops inside is her bread and butter. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. Well, as an offensive player, you always want to put pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Now here's Ball Queen. Defended by Harrison. Inside, Stewart. That falls. Nice yes. that time from Tina Charles. Come on, most players miss that one after contact. Then again, Stewart, she's not most players. The W25 team was unveiled in 2021. One of the selections, Tina Charles, the 2012 MVP winner. Charles has been a star in this league for well over a decade. A nice shot by Agumba Wale. With the ability to get off quick releases, Agumba Wale can excel in the catch and shoot. Outside Stewart. Duchess sets a screen. From eight. A nice shot by Stewart. And talking about Tina Charles, she's been a star in the WNBA for a very long time. Yeah, she has put together a surefire Hall of Fame resume. She started in college with two titles, but then in the pros, won multiple scoring titles, won multiple rebounding titles. So if you ask me, Tina Charles is an all-timer. Here's Ball Queen. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Three-pointer. A rebound by Harris. And it's the Wings ball. Eight-point game. Pass to Gumbawale. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Now here is Stewart. Defense is right there. From the arc, Brianna Stewart can't get that one to fall. Here's the Wings with the ball. They're leading by eight. The screen by Collier. Now here's Harris. Duchess defending. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Outside Stewart. Out to the left wing. Here's Ball Queen. Oh, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot. And will shoot two at the line. That one on Harris. And it's right around this time when the grind of the season starts to wear on players, guys. Yeah, I agree, Blake. I mean, it might not have taken a physical toll yet. But mentally, it can be a challenge to stay engaged in this part of the year. Yeah, this is when a coach earns their keep. You have got to keep your players engaged and energetic. And the first one at the line is good. The 2010s, a very eventful decade for this Dallas franchise. At the, at the start of the 2010s, they had just moved from Detroit to Tulsa. 
Then they moved again from Tulsa to Dallas in 2016. And she makes both free throws. And for this Wings organization, unfortunately, they struggled in the 2010s. Yeah, just one season with a winning record, but now that they've settled in the Big D, they are much more comfortable in Texas. So I expect the 2020s to be much more fruitful for the Wings. It's Burton. They get a hand on it. From outside the arc. Unable to get that one to go. Well, you have to like their work on the boards here in the first. Yeah, coming out of the gates with great energy. You kind of like they got shot out of a cannon. They're really setting the tone. Boom. And it's good. Two points. They need to get way more disruptive defensively. They just can't keep allowing these easy buckets. You know, get a little physical. Show some effort. Defensively, that's job number one. Effort, nothing easy inside. They get it back. Here's Collier. <laughs> Foul call that time on the way up, and that'll give her two chances at the free throw. That's on Gabby Williams. Born in Texas, Charlie Collier went to college in Texas and was taken first overall by, of course, the Dallas Wings, starting her pro career in Texas. She knocks down the first one. Oh, there are a few franchises you can mention when you're talking about the best in the league. And Seattle certainly is in the conversation. And you know, talk about on-court success. No team has more championships. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And here's January. Five on the clock. Back to Lloyd. Jacks up a three. Got a rebound by Thornton. On an open look like that, she's just got a gift for making the weak coverage pay. That's a surprising miss. Uh, she's almost always deadly when she's that open, even from way downtown. And Thornton is such a smart player, recognizes overcommitments from the defense and gets it to her open teammates. January gets the bucket. Now Burton. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And so the first quarter in the book. It's the wings up eight. And we'll bring you the start of quarter two when we return. beginning in just a moment and looking at what we've seen from the wings what do you guys think i love the effort on the glass right out of the gate from them and it takes effort from all five players to get a rebounding advantage like this the storm trail outside lloyd january to Lloyd. Pass to Williams. Shot clock at six. Magnador. Good work defensively by Tierra McCowan. Outside Mabry. Now Burton. Outside Sobley. Picked by Thornton. Outside Sobley. Here's Burton. Offensive board. And she gets the bucket. And when you talk about McCowan, you start with her rebounding. Led the league in advanced board metrics, those advanced rebound numbers during her rookie year. Now here's Williams. 
He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Thornton with it. Pass to Burton. The tray. Storm with the rebound. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Back to Stewart. McVagore with the ball. Second chance shot. And Stewart with the lay-in. Never gave up on the play. Stewart just doesn't quit. She's a well-rounded offensive talent. Pass to Burton. And so she earns a trip to the line. Uh, official saw the contact, and she'll shoot two. What a play in attack mode and get inside. And the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Well, the Wings have been in Dallas since 2016, but before that, they had two other stops as a franchise. Joining the league in 1998 in Detroit, and then a move to Tulsa in 2010. That one misses, so she goes one for two. Going back to when the Wings were in Detroit, they had so much success. Winning three titles in Motown, just like the bad boy Pistons of the late 80s and early 90s. Their hallmark was tough defense, taking on the identity of their city. It's Burton. Masto Gumbawale. Sinks the three-pointer. Well, we know Aguba Wale has the shooting touch, and she's more than comfortable extending the range. Second quarter play with almost three minutes gone. Outside, Williams. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. The rapid-fire three is coming from everywhere. I wasn't sure they should try to get the three right back like that, but hey, it worked out for them. McCowan, defended by Magnavore. Back to Gumbawale. Pass to Burton. Goes up again. And the layup is good. Well, controlling the boards, they're plus five in that category. Yeah, and look, rebounding, it's not a glamour stat, but you look at the scoreboard and you see the result. Now here's Williams. He has five. To the middle. Here's Stewart. Good. And it's Gabby Williams who picks up the assist. What a great sight to see. Stewart doesn't need much to get going. And once she does, she is so tough to guard. Now here's Aguba Wale. 11 points in the game. Pass to Lloyd. Here's Williams. Shot from free throw range, and a jumper falls for her. He's coming to life after a slow start in the first quarter. It's Burton. Five points in the game. Outside of Gumbawale. Pass to Gray. And here's Burton. Fires from deep. Magnador grabs the miss. She has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it really hasn't affected the team that much. Duchess sets a screen. And Williams gets it to go. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. No luck needed. It is working for sure. Five of their last six field goals. Oh, they've come from inside the paint. Time called here. The wings decide to talk it over.
So it's Dallas now. They've led by as much as 10. Gray outside. Screen by McCowan. Over Charles. And another miss by Dallas. The storm trail. Alicia Gray won a national championship with the final game played in Dallas. And just a few days later, Gray was selected fourth overall by, guessed it, Dallas. They're going on a nice little run here. And getting to the rack has been the key. They're getting point-blank looks time and time again. Now here's Harris. Pass to Harrison. Ball's knocked loose. Now here's Bird. Now here's Duchess. Charles, the screen, fires the three. Chance there to take the lead, missing. And here's Harris, on top of Gumbawale. Shot to end the cold run. Doesn't go that time. Now Seattle takes it the other way. And Alicia Gray winning Rookie of the Year for the Wings in 2017. Yeah, she hit the ground running in this league, and Gray has really never looked back. With nice size for a guard, Gray is your prototypical two guard. Time called here, the Wings decide to talk it over. We've seen Brianna Stewart really having a great game. She has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They need to come up with a plan to limit the damage she's doing inside. Deciding to change it up. Now Gray. She has six. Collier. Started by Charles. And a basket by Collier. Just like the coaches drew it up. Easy hoop. Gray with the perfect feet. Duchess with it. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. And that's a foul called on Alicia Gray. That is her first foul of the game. First team foul. Here's Duchess. Here's Talbot. Pass to Duchess. Stewart. Defended by Harrison. Four on the clock. Stewart with the bucket. Some defensive breakdowns happening now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these high percentage shot attempts, it's not going to get it done. They need to figure it out. Now here's Agumawale. 11 points in the game. Pass to Harris. Back to Collier. And it's Brianna Stewart with the rebound. Seattle in the lead. 
Well, when Dallas traded away Skyler Diggins-Smith, one thing became very clear. This was a Rike Ogubawale's team, and boy, has she ever stepped up as the face of the franchise. It doesn't go for her. Gordon outside. Past Ogunbowale. Off target with the three. Ogunbowale, a steal in the 2019 draft, going fifth overall. A rookie of the year in that 2019 campaign. A first team all WNBA selection during her second year in 2020. Marike winning a scoring title in that wobble season, solidifying herself as the leader of the Dallas Wings. Very close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Not a great habit to get into, letting her get that wide open. Now here's Collier. Six points for her. Past Ogumbawale. Got a piece of it. Now here's Ball Queen. Duchess, no good. The alley oop's a great play when it works and a terrible one when it doesn't. It can make you look silly, that's for sure. And we got a little silliness right there. Now here's a Wale. She's got 11. Back to Collier. Just four to shoot. Pass to Gumbawale. And there's the whistle. That goes on Harrison. That's her first foul. And the Storm making a change here. Substitution on the court. Talbot covered by Thornton. Three-pointer, Brianna Stewart. Down it drops Brianna through the Stewart. net for her ninth bucket. She is 9 for 13 so far. She's putting on an excellent offensive display, and she may just be getting started. Pass to Thornton. Harris. Outside Mabry. The screen by Collier. Mabry misses. And here are the Storm now. A four-point game. Here's Talbot, defended by Harrison. A nice shot by Talbot. Passing is what makes Stewart perhaps the best offensive player in the world. Not just to score, an all-around force. Here's Harris. And that's not going to go. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. It's the Storm, leading by six. And we will be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. now beginning both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game what a game we're seeing from brianna stewart she is such a dynamic scorer that much we know and her talent really was on full display in the first half yeah look there's no way around it she's a hard player to keep down and, and so far they haven't found the answer for her and there might not be one Welcome back. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. The pick by Ball Queen. Here's Stewart. Good work defensively by Tierra McCowan. Uh, you look at the career of Brandon Stewart. Uh, before she turned 26, Stewart had won four college titles with UConn gold at the games and two WNBA titles. Agumawale, no good. She can't get anything to drop. And the way she's going, it's probably not something she should try to, to shoot her way out of. And I'm sure her teammates would agree with that. You know, the last thing they want to see her doing is shooting it more. 
I'll bet her percentage is pretty high from that ring. And for young Brianna Stewart, she's also piled up the individual awards. Yeah, in the college tournament, she was an MVP four times. And then the WNBA, she was the 2018 MVP. She was the finals MVP multiple times over. So Stewie has really put together a Hall of Fame resume at a very young age. You know what? I don't care how far from the bucket she is. You've got to have a defender on her. She's just too good from long range. Now here's Mabry. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Bird outside. Pass to Duchess. And here's Ball Queen. Screen by Charles. Six to shoot. Now Stewart. A rebound by Gray. Here's Mabry. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Misses off the left iron. She hasn't had much success shooting the ball. Left side, Stewart. Pass to Charles. Ball clean. Duchess with it. No good with the wing jumper. They start the second half, one for four. Now here's a Goomba Wale. Down low. Here's Sabali. Off on the layup. Great defense right there to prevent one of the best finishers in the league from converting in close. outside pass to Charles to the paint Stewart the shot's good on the assist by Tina Charles the incredible focus Stewart has even when the D gets physical she stays with the play on the wing Alicia Gray they need this <laughs> Well, 2016 was perhaps the biggest draft lottery in league history. The prize being generational star Brianna Stewart. And luckily for Seattle, the balls bounce their way. And this is her first free throw of the game. First one falls for her. A top five pick by Dallas back in 2017. Alicia Gray is a big time scoring guard. So she gets them both. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Pass to Ball Queen. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It's going to be on Gray. Well, the addition of Brianna Stewart to the storm, it changed the trajectory of this organization. A Stewie has been incredible. 2018 winning MVP. A couple finals MVPs as well. A difference maker on both ends of the floor. Brianna Stewart is the definition of a franchise player. The first one falls. Both shots good from the stripe. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Outside Mabry. Pass to Burton. Gray. 
Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Williams. And another miss by Dallas. Their offense scuffling a bit in the second half. Just one for five. Brianna Stewart drives in. Up and in from the low block. Stewart makes it look easy, but trust me, it is not easy. She's fearless around the rim. Pass to Sabali. Outside Mabry. Back to Sabali. On the wing, Alicia Gray. And another miss by Dallas. Surprising miss, wouldn't it just say? I mean, she usually devours those wide open opportunities. And here's Burton. He has five. To the inside. The basket drops and she gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up for her. What a powerful finish from Sobley. I'm impressed with her ability to convert through contact. She'll be shooting her first free throw of the game. The Storm making a switch here. And that one misses. In college, Satu Savali showed a lot of promise as a top talent. Ended up going second overall in the 2020 draft. Now here is Lloyd. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Pass to January for three. That shot off the mark. And Dallas the other way now. Mabry with it. Finds the bottom of the bucket from about 13 feet out. A very effective shooter. Mabry well within her range there. Almost a layup if she's open. Outside Lloyd. Williams sets the screen. Here's Talbot. Tries again. A nice shot by McVigore. Playing with enthusiasm. Ezzy McVigore. Big second chance bucket. Gordon outside. Pass to Burton. Here's the three. And the three ball is good. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Now here's Williams. She's got nine. To the middle. Here's Lloyd. That's in. Coming off an assist from Breon January. Breon With an January. increasing knowledge of the game, January is able to read defenses effectively. In a September 2021 game against the Mercury, Jewel Lloyd tied a WNBA record with 22 points in a quarter, taking just nine shots. Perseverance, it always pays off on the offensive glass. Outside Williams. Over Thornton. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And those 22 points for Jewel Lloyd are actually the most points ever scored in a first quarter for a player. Well, you know what's really incredible is that Lloyd didn't even score the last four and a half minutes of that quarter. So Jewel had 22 points in less than six minutes. Time called here. The Wings decide to talk it over.
Here's Collier. Eight points for her. Pass to Burton. And here's Thornton. Takes the three. And Drew Lloyd pulls it down. Eleven feet out. The rebound by the wings. Now Harris. There's a screen. Right wing, clock at six. It's Burton. This one for three. Ooh, no luck on that one. You know, she shouldn't miss those, but, you know, it happens to the best of them. Pass to January. And here is Lloyd. There's the three. That's in, coming off an assist from Breon January. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Great ball movement. Great ball movement indeed. That's an example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. It's Burton. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Storm. Storm. Substitution on the court. Lloyd with it. Five points in the game. Williams inside. Working on Harrison. Outside Lloyd. Fires for three. Hits the three-point bomb. Sometimes three it points. just looks like Lloyd is toying with the defense. With slick moves like that, she's simply a step ahead. Now here's a Google Wallet. 11 points in the game. Thornton outside. Pass to Harris. Enrique Agumawale on the wing. Nailed from three-point land. Love the competitive mindset from Agumawale. Anything you can do, I can do better. Outside Lloyd. Back to January. Here's Lloyd. They set a pick for three. And again, Seattle with the triple. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over again. They might have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. Now here's a Gumbawale. And that one drops. For any under six foot guard like Ogilvy Wale, the teardrop is a must. Allows you to score over. Oh, oh got oh, it! Oh, That's good! Got it! What a shot! So three points right yeah. there at the buzzer. That was the definition of a prayer. And it was answered. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double digit ball game. Storm out in front, up by 15. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. Welcome back. Fourth quarter of action starting up in what has been a one-side show. Here's the wings with the ball. Down by 15. Thornton out to the wing. Six to shoot. Shot from 12. And no good trying to use the glass. Bird outside. Over to the wing. Pass to Stewart. And the layup falls. A true threat inside and outside. Stewart's height and touch, they allow her to be effective down low. Now that is nice. Glad we got a chance to check out that sweet drive one more time. 
that's how you have to play. They're still going hard, and that kind of energy and effort is how they built this league. McCowan with the ball, guarded by Charles. Outside, Agunmawale. Pass to Gray. And she drops in the layup off glass. Well, using recognition and awareness, Agumba Wale is able to make the unselfish delivery. Outside, Stewart. Screen by Stewart. Now, here's Bird. Let's it go from deep. The shot, no good. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Gray outside. A kick out to Agumba Wale. And again, it's Dallas with a three. He's on her way to putting up a big three-point total. And here's Ball Queen. Pass to Charles. To the wing, right side. Now here's Ball Queen. He's covered closely. Well, in 2021, Tina Charles led the WNBA in scoring, which was her second scoring title. But when you consider that she was 33 years old, it's almost a little more impressive. At the line for two. Shooting two. No good on that one. The top pick in the 2010 draft, Tina Charles, made an immediate impact, winning Rookie of the Year, averaging a double-double with the Sun. And she sinks the second. Now Mabry. Side Sabali. Outside Agumba Wale. McCowan defended by Ball Queen. And that one drops for her. And talking about the game of Tina Charles, she's really changed it with the times. Well, you talk about Charles' first six years in the league. She made just two threes total. But before the 2016 season, Tina added the three-point shot to her game. And guess what? Charles led the league in scoring back during the 2016 season. And here's Sue Bird outside. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Storm will get the ball here. Here are the Storm now. 17 points was their biggest margin. Pass to Ball Queen. Shot clock at six. And here's Sue Bird outside. Well, despite her ineffectiveness, the team has found other scoring options. Now Mabry. Gray outside. Let's kick out to Agumba Wale. Basket is good. The assist from Alicia Gray. They've given up so many threes today. Their defensive rotations on the perimeter have been abysmal. Stewart inside. McCowan defending. Another shot. And it's Stewart missing. Dallas trailing here. Pass to Kukawale. And here's McCowan. Outside, Agumba Wale. The three. Oh, my. A <laughs> game this close to a four-point play. And she'll head to the line with three free throws. Brianna Stewart picks one up. In just her second year in the league, Arike Agumba Wale won the scoring title during the 2020 Wubble season, averaging just about 23 points per game.
And she's good on the first of three. Now to win that scoring title in 2020, Agunbowale turned it on down the stretch of that season. Yeah, over the last four games, Arike averaged just about 30 points per game, holding off that year's MVP in Asia Wilson. Arike leading the league in points at just 23 years old. What an accomplishment. Good on the second free throw. You know, Agumba Wale has incredible athletic ability. It's going to be fun to watch her grow in this league and continue to get better. And she makes all three. Here's Ball Queen. Outside, Stewart. Pass to Charles. Out to the right wing. Six to shoot. And she uses the glass on the layup. Well, the buckets have been fewer and further between lately. Yeah, this game just has a different complexion than it had just a short time ago. Suddenly, that lead isn't looking as cozy. Give it up for her inside. Great rebound, and she had to fight for it. Outside, Stewart over Mabry. Stewart with the bucket. And guys, her consistent shooting, it's helped them take this lead. Outside, Mabry. Up top of Gunbawale. Left side, Sabali. Agundawale. Here's McCowan. A beautiful reverse layup. And they have gotten themselves back into this game just in the nick of time. If that run had come any later, it would have been too late. Still some work left to do, though. They can't relax yet. Stewart inside. Sabali's there. Out to the wing. Pass to Bird. A pick by Ball Queen. Shoots the three. And Tina Charles is going to pick up the foul. That is her first foul of the game. First two foul. In for the score. Jewel Roy. Mabry with it. Now here is McCowan. Back to Mabry. Pass to Gray. Puts up a three. That one doesn't drop. And the storm going the other way now. 17 points was their biggest margin. Inside. Here's Lloyd. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed assist. Those defenders look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're just getting pushed around on the low block. Maybe coach has got to make a substitution or something to energize this team. Well, they better rally soon. They've given up three straight buckets in the paint. Now here's Sabali. Defended by Stewart. Clock at four. Here's Mabry. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Now here's Ball Queen. Time called here. The Storm decide to talk it over. Well, after averaging just four points per game as a rookie, Marina Mabry was traded to Dallas prior to the 2020 season. And let me tell you, that move kick-started her career.
hear the storm now. They lead by seven. Pass to Lloyd. Here's Charles. McCowan defending. Here's Ball Queen. That falls. Nice speed that time from Tina Charles. Great ball movement. It ends with Charles making the extra pass. She has a great feel for the game. Up top of Gunvalale. Defended by Ball Queen. Over Ball Queen. No good off the back of the rim. And here is Stewart. To the left side wing. Goes up on the stripe. And the Storm tack on two more. What a nice pass. Uh, Stewart is really a multifaceted talent who provides whatever the team needs. Knocked away. And they're running. And there's the whistle. Foul hard on the shot, and we'll go to the line. First person to foul, team first. Second team foul. At the line for the score. Number seven, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Hits the second from the line. A challenging stretch for Dallas here. Time called here. The Wings decide to talk it over. Really, they're not pleased at all with the looks they've given up inside, and they want to talk to the team about tightening things up defensively. Well, that's what's got to happen, and I'm sure the coaches will let them know about it. I mean, they're playing some soft interior defense, and that's a recipe for disaster. off the step back and no good so the storm will take it the other way down low ball clean and she spanks in the layups you see the vision from stewart there that's something that every coach in the league would appreciate now gumbawale Hey, and if you want to watch a WNBA game, as long as you have a smartphone, you're in luck. The league has done a great job with streaming because you can pretty much catch a WNBA game anywhere. With so many different ways to watch, they are connecting with the younger audience. Yeah, but also putting games on network TV, drawing huge numbers 
a combination of the two has increased the fan base, and, and we are all for that. That one's off. And no luck at the stripe this time. Second miss. A nice shot by Stewart. And every point they get now puts them one step closer to finishing this one off. If they haven't already done it, just a tremendous all-around performance we've seen from them. Yeah, Brian, it's been a treat to watch. Astro Gumbawale. Mabry. With nobody on her, she buries the jumper. Near Seattle. 17 points was their biggest margin. Charles, the screen. Here's Ball Queen. The shot's good on the assist by Tina Charles. Well, if it wasn't already out of reach, it is now thanks to the spurt that they're having. And why put on the brakes now, Tim? I say just keep on firing. Man, Brian, you want to run up the score? Here's Gray. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Now here's Ball Queen. Tight defense on her. Pass to Bird. And here's Ball Queen. Shot clock at five. Here's Lloyd. Off line from the top of the key jumper. So Seattle takes this one by a big margin. And this crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Boy, I mean, for us too, it was shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. They never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the type of win they had tonight. And that'll wrap it up.